Hi everybody, I have um, 16 ounces of strawberries here. I have washed them real good and let them drain and I cut the tops off and now I want to mash these into this after I mash them. I'm going to add 3 fourths of a cup of sugar, 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, which I didn't have lemon juice so I used my lemon ferment. And that's got some salt in it but it's just going to enhance the flavor. So let me get these mashed. I will then add these when I bring you back. Okay, we got these mashed. It's a really fine mash, okay? Um, I'm not gonna can these. I'm just gonna put them in a glass container with some saran wrap into the refrigerator. So there goes my 3 4th cup of sugar, my two tablespoons of lemon juice, it might be a little more, and then I'm gonna mix this. I'm gonna keep mixing this and cook this for about 10 minutes. And I have it on a medium high heat, about a seven eight. And if it starts to start to boil over or whatever, I'll reduce the heat. You gotta let it cook for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna keep mashing them and let this boil for 10 minutes. It's gonna be a full boil. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll bring you back when I got something to share. Okay, this is starting to come back up to a boil. I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. And I'm gonna let it boil for 10 minutes. I'm gonna stir it occasionally. We're one minute into this and I just wanna show you how it looks. So you're just gonna keep stirring it and mashing it down. If you wanna put it in the food processor prior to cooking it, that's your choice. But it doesn't take much to mash this and just keep stirring the sugar and the lemon juice in. And you're gonna have these nice pieces of strawberries when you serve your jam. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. It's been on for two minutes. So I just gotta let it go for 10. And then I've got my container right here. So this is gonna be for breakfast tomorrow. So I'm just gonna keep doing this for 10 minutes and then when I'm ready to do the next step, I will bring you back. We're back to two minutes and you see all that foam? You can put in a piece of butter and that will reduce the foam or you can take that out with a, a spoon. I'm not gonna do that. I got my glass container here. I also got a piece of seal, like plastic um, pressure type stuff. I'm not gonna put that on until that cools off. But anyways, I'm gonna keep stirring. It's already starting to thicken. And this is a real easy, you can, it's strawberry season now. We've got strawberry plants growing in our garden that I have to thin out. Um, these here were from Ricker Farm when I went to Conway. I had a couple this morning for breakfast and I wanted to use them up because what is it about at your homestead? Using things up, rotating your stock, not purchasing any food, shop your kitchen, prep, be prepared, prices are rising guys, prices are rising, use what you have in your house. I make my own homemade dough from sourdough started, I don't require no yeast, I make kombucha, look at that, look at that. 16 seconds and we're gonna put this in that container and I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like. If you like videos like this, please give me a big thumbs up. Please like and please share and subscribe. And if you're a subscriber here, thank you for supporting my channel. So we're gonna turn off our burner and I'm gonna put this in this container right here, but off camera. And I'll bring you back and I'll show you what the final product looks like. Just got done with the jam. Oh my word. It is amazing. Just amazing. I just tried this and oh my lord. I got my water in there from the pan so I can soak so there ain't no sticky. I got my dishes in the sink ready for this to cool down. And I'm going to put my plastic on the top. 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the recipe.